ChatGPT operator, it can do things for you. It basically remote controls your keyboard and a mouse, just like a ghost is inside of your office, and it does things for you. Honestly, it does things for you. You know, you tell it, head over to the booking site and book me a hotel stay for two people on March 8. And you know what's the best part about this one? You get to see it in action, you know? It can navigate the site in front of your eyes. It goes to hotels, like for example here, and then it chooses the date, and then it can book a flight for you as well. You tell it, okay, I want to go to Indonesia, and then when you get there, it'll research what kind of things you can do there in Indonesia, right, or in Barcelona. It navigates this in front of your eyes. You have a browser which you are looking at. But of course, the main thing, the main point of this is that you give it a task and then you go out for a lunch, right? So basically, that's what it's capable to do. Whatever kind of task can be done online using the websites, whatever, whether you want to post something, whether you just want to complete something, whether you would just want to do a research on something or make a Google slide about something, Google Doc, Google Sheet, whatever, it can do it for you. It's powerful and it's just going to get better. But for now, honestly, for me, it is a bit expensive, right? And you can't use it everywhere just yet. Now, let me just touch on this. If you head over to the ChatGPT and you click here and then you just click on the upgrade version of it, you will see that there's $20 paywall if you want to use the plus version, right? And then if you want to use ChatGPT operator, you will have to pay $200 in order to get yourself a pro version of it. And that's just too much for me. I mean, it's just too much. I mean, I'm not even paying this. This is $20 per month for something that already is better and free on this website. I just love, love, love DeepSeek, right? I, I'm in love with it for at least 15 to 20 days now. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. And honestly, it's better. But DeepSeek, well, they don't have this. This is the operator. And as you can see, it's only available in the US for now. And it can be really good. You can use it in order to make money for yourself, in order to save time for yourself, and to just make your life easier, right? Now, this is good for appointment setters. It's good for researchers. It's good for virtual assistants as well. It is good for content creators because I found a use case for it. You can tell it to use Midjourney, for example. You tell it to use a prompt on Midjourney for million times, you know, and then it can just download all those pictures to your computer and then it can upload it on Instagram, let's say. It's good. That's really good. It can save you a lot of time. You can use it for YouTube, for Instagram, whatever. One use case is particularly good. I gave it a task to head over to this page on Instagram because I imagined that I wanted to make something similar to this. And then I asked it to go and do the research on this one. So I asked, go and check the comments, go and check the engagement, go and check the likes and the view counts on reels, and then just give me the best ones. When I came back, it gave me the best ones. And then I can just do the research and of course, just recreate whatever I want. So how does this work after all? Well, it is a computer using agent. So that's what it's called. And it basically interacts with the online world just like you would do. It's not perfect yet. And I agree with most of the people online that say that operator isn't worth $200 per month. It's a big paywall. And especially for a tool that is not perfect yet. Maybe they do it on purpose, but this is how it works in a nutshell. You give it a prompt, just like you would do to a regular chat GPT. And the input is going to a computer using agent. You can put screenshots, you can put PDF files, and then you will see the actions live. Now, this is cool because you see your mouse moving. As I've told you, just like a ghost is there. You see the keyboard types, you see whatever. It heads over to the virtual machine and it basically completes the job for you. Now, I found a lot of these like examples here. So, for example, you can send it over. I mean, this is not something that is very useful, but you can send it over to complete a quiz online. Just like this, for example, go to the plus section of Cambridge Dictionary, finish a recommended grammar quiz without login and tell me your final score. So, initializing computer here. It's just going to give you the screenshots on this website. But as I've told you, you see it live. So it's doing it live. 
and then it's just going to access and it can close these ads and this is just perfect then it heads over it searches for those quizzes and then it just scrolls down it completes the quizzes and it's just giving you the best score right now this is really good because you use ai in order to complete something which you should have done with your brain right so maybe there's some use cases for that now you can book hotel stays as i've told you you can order groceries you can combine pdfs you can upload a lot of documents here it can compress images as well so you can just tell it okay take this from google drive download it and then compress it it can export images it can download lectures it can yeah, it can do a lot of download and upload, and it's a really good thing. Also, it can post, right? If you want to post something on Reddit, if you want to post something on YouTube, it can do it for you. Basically, whatever you think of, it can do it for you. But, you know, there's like a downside. Sometimes it asks you for a confirmation, right? I mean, it's okay when, it, when you need payment for something or you need credit card info for, you know, paying for a hotel stay. But sometimes... If I'm doing a research, it asks me, like, should you, like, would you want me to continue? For example, it does one blog, and then it asks me, should I go to another one? Well, yeah, I want you to complete all of that. But it can be corrected with a right prompt, right? So you can just ask it. If one blog isn't enough for you, just move on to the next one, something like that. I was actually amazed by this because I used this to scrape some data and i used this prompt so scrape data from 10 different blogs about DeepSeek, and then put summaries into a new google doc after each one and i was impressed by this result it did the research it went over and did it and it summarized it and it organized it really nicely into a new google doc and it's a cool thing now there's a lot of work for this one data scraping is still good next on i told you appointment setters this is going to be really good for booking calls, for using calendars. You know, it's just going to save a lot of time for a lot of people, no matter what they do. But yeah, I see a lot of people that are unsatisfied with it. And honestly, I think that we should wait a bit more, right? We should just wait a bit more until we see the final version of it, until it becomes available to the rest of the world, right? Until more people start to use it and until more people, you know, learn us to use it better. But yeah, honestly, I agree. $200 is too much for now, especially now that we have DeepSeek. And soon, I think very soon, that this company is going to give operator of its own. And we should just wait for it, right? Everything is going fast. Everything is like moving two times speed when it comes to AI. And I think that we should just wait for DeepSeek's version of it this is just my subjective opinion because I'm in love with DeepSeek and I'm in love with what that company achieved with so little amount of resources. And yeah, I think we should just wait for it. But hey, if you can, just go and play with it. If you're eager to learn before anyone else does, go and play with it. It's a cool thing to do. And yeah, they're working on making this available in the API so developers can use it to build their own computer using agents that's going to be cool just remember 200 dollars per month and you got to live in the us for now so that's about it soon we're not gonna have to do anything ourselves soon there's going to be an operator waiting for you in your kitchen and it's going to give you coffee and it's going to give you a breakfast it's going to be cool right wish you good luck catch you in the next one